We'll go check on the llama babies this morning. Here they are. They look like they're all doing good. We've got Siggy over there. We've got Dozer right here. Next to Sherpa, the little boy. <clears throat> we got the moms spreading hay all over the place. And then we have little black Levon. And over there we got Pancake. Let's look at what Levon. Hey Levon! Hey buddy! Hey buddy. Oh, get up I say. Look at him stretch. Good boy. Look at you stretch. Oh yeah. Get stretching. Good boy. Hey Levon. <laughs> it's so funny when he's looking at me. You can you can barely see him. Everyone looks pretty calm, happy this morning. It's awesome. Now we'll go check on the two little new babies. The little guy just came out, we took his coat off, and now he's getting introduced to the herd. Last night's baby. Buddy. It's a crazy getting introduced to the herd, huh? I got some cute little ones coming to investigate. Dozer, you're smelling my shoes. Dozer. Hey, Dozer. Cute boy. You just saying hi? Oh, what about you, new baby? You gonna say hi? Are you gonna say hi? Mom don't like that. Mama don't like that. Back on up, she says. Look at all the yearling boys coming to the fence to greet the new mom and baby. That's the wrong new baby, fellas. Day four babysitting. We're at the zoo with Dad and Wade and all the kids. And Wade is sad. Why is he so sad? Did you get sunscreen into your eyes? Maybe. But at the otters. See him? Well, it's the end of a very long day. We did a lot of really fun things today. We went to the zoo, we went to eat. So it'll be good to get back to normal life. Um, Wade's, not Wade, Bo's had a lot of crazy adventures since I've been gone, taking care of the llamas. We've had, I think, three llamas born in the last two days. Is that right? Or four in the last three days or something. We've had a lot. <laughs> Lots more to come, so lots of stress, lots of excitement, uh, lots of naming. I think you are my females have a baby. I just walked out here and look at all the females. They're all stacked up. Oh, I just got the head out. But no freaking, no feet. There's no feet. The feet have to come out with the head. That's not good. The feet could be back and she could be pushing them on top of herself. Crap. It's getting dark and I'm out here by myself. I really could use some help, but I'll see what I can get managed. Gosh, I just checked her half an hour ago. I'm like, man, she looks pretty um, miserable, but she wasn't doing anything. I gotta catch this mom and get her put in this pen so that I can help out. Hold on, little guy. Hold on, little guy. Little girl, little guy, little mama. I got Ivory put up in the chute. She's the one that's having a baby. The baby's head's out. Josh is, I got Josh here, he's helping me. 
helping the baby and we tried and tried and tried and we couldn't get the baby out so he called the vet he'll be here in 10 minutes nine times out of ten things go well but that tenth time man they can go so bad this is one of our nicest females and she's bred to one of our favorite studs our best stud and he died and uh, just a couple months ago and this little baby has a blue eye just like he used to have a blue eye so I really want things to go well <clears throat> I just care so much about these guys man. And that sucks when you just can't do it on your own. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Ryan, Ryan. Still breathing? He's breathing a little bit. Not as much as he was, though. He's trying. She's going to be really bruised, um, so definitely we want to give her banamine and like exceed would be my recommendation. Okay, okay guys, do you, do you have some? Yeah. I have I, a shot in the house. Do you have some of yeah, both? Don't we have, we have, yeah. a, I have some prevail. We have prevail, yeah. Prevail, yep. yeah, yeah you, prevail and exceed would be great. For okay. Prevail is a generic name of that. Yeah, yeah. So, so we're good there. Okay. Do you guys mind if I run? No I've got a colicky yeah, horse waiting cute. for me at the clinic, okay? So much, yeah. You're welcome. Just got done checking all the llamas and uh, the little baby's doing pretty good he's got dried off he's got a coat on <sighs> and uh, the mom's pretty nervous and in pain and maybe a little bit of shock so we're just gonna let him mellow out for a while I'm gonna go home grab some food and uh, take a 10 minute drive 20 minute drive sorry to kind of de-issue a little bit, decompress and think about everything and uh, 
yeah. So, gonna head home for a minute. Baby seems to be doing pretty good. I am thrilled to be home. Man, what a day. At the end of the day, today, a lot's on my mind. I'm thinking it's great to have family around. It's great to have a vet that lives close. Uh, my heart's full of gratitude. It's mostly to the good Lord for everything that went so well, that was going really bad. I think it's a lot like life, you know? Things can be just sailing wrong, pretty smooth, and all of a sudden, <laughs> life goes crazy in an instance, and that's what happened tonight. Everything was going smooth. You know, we've had some hiccups along the way, and it's been the hardest birthing season that we've ever had to date, and not for sure really why that is. But, yeah, it's life, man. And it's going good until it's not. And when it's not, you just literally have to roll up your sleeves <laughs> like we did tonight and uh, surround yourself with good people and go to work and do the best you can. And sometimes it works out and sometimes it doesn't. And I'm so grateful that tonight was one of those nights that it worked out. Signing off. Bo Beatty. <laughs> Thanks for watching.